Did you add a new member to your family with a pet during the pandemic? Adoption centers and breeders saw a massive surge in demand, and pandemic pets have become a lovable part of the journey through COVID for many. Pets require care, though, and with restricted access to tr traditional vets, a new model of care has started. Dr. Sarah Michelle is a licensed practicing veterinarian and the medical director at Vetster, which makes it simple to connect with a veterinarian at any time convenient to the pet owner, as long as there is a Wi-Fi connection. She joins me today to discuss some tips for keeping pets cool in this heat and to share some details about Vetster. Welcome to the show, Sarah. Thank you, Candice. It's great to be here. I uh, this is one of those ideas that I was, I read it and I'm in my email and I thought, oh gosh, I wish I had thought of this. It's brilliant, brilliant. So let's, before we get to keeping pets cool, what is Vetster? Well, thanks for asking. Um, so Vetster is uh, essentially your online access to vet qualified veterinarians for veterinary advice, um, support, uh, triaging in times of emergencies, um, and also in Ontario and many places across Canada, um, the veterinarians who are on our platform uh, can actually speak to a diagnosis and potentially provide prescriptions for your pet all through a virtual consult. So I know from talking to you earlier that this idea was not born out of the pandemic, but was actually thought about prior to, which is brilliant timing, <laughs> not great timing with the pandemic, but brilliant timing. Yeah. And all I could think about was how many times my dog has got sick in the middle of the night and all the vets are closed. Right, right. Real great point. And uh, as, as you said, you know, Vetster was not a response to COVID, um, but we are really glad that we've been able to be here and to help support pet owners like yourselves um, and 30, 35% of Canadian households that welcomed new pets during the pandemic um, and to support the veterinary industry because as you mentioned in your opening, you know, it, the industry is has been challenged with COVID just like so many industries and access to care in a traditional sense is not as easy as it once was. Um, and so it's, um, you know, it was an unfortunate timing, but, uh, and, and like you referenced, you know, pets don't really acknowledge sort of the working hours of a traditional clinic and nine times out of 10, uh, get into things, particularly puppies, uh, and kittens, um, <laughs> you know, at the most inconvenient times. And that's, what's really neat and unique about our platform, um, is that we have, you know, veterinarians available. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, you know, meeting our pet owners where they are when they need us. And uh, so it's, it's, yeah, we're, it's a, a new model. And then and, and we've really, you know, nothing but positive sort of feedback from pet owners, um, really enjoying, you know, the access to a real doctor at the end of the Dr. Google search. So. Absolutely. So this is like telemedicine for your pets. I love it. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the heat right now, though, because it, it is oppressive here in Ontario. We're heading into what's going to be a scorching summer, I think, across the country. And our pets need to be protected. It's really important. What are your best tips, tips for keeping pets, um, giving them relief during the heat? Great question. And I think you're right. I think it's going to be a hot summer. And those always make me as a veterinarian nervous. Um, so I think some of the most important things um, are to be mindful of your pet's exercise level and tolerance. And those of us, you know, staying at home, um, maybe working from home, we still have sort of weakened warrior syndrome at times. And so, you know, being really cognizant that if your pet is luxurating, you know, with you at home while you're working on the couch for eight hours a day, that they're not going to have the stamina, particularly in the heat and humidity, to go out and, and run 5k on a weekend. Um, so just being really aware of your pet's fitness level along with your own, um, because it can be an easy way to, to stress a pet if we overdo it um, without a buildup. Um, and, and when outside, you know, being aware of access to shade and rest and water, always, you know, free access to water. And I think the, the other thing that I'm, you know, always really concerned about and aware of is dogs 
pets, but dogs primarily in cars in the heat. It's a no-no, you know, it's, it's so easy, you know, nowadays, especially with the pandemic even more, our pets are going everywhere with us all the time. You know, we scoop them up if they're small, uh, we put them into the car when we run an errand, which is fine when it's, you know, temperate and even if it's cool, they're usually fine in a warm car, not freezing, um, but it takes just a few moments in a hot car for a dog to get in serious trouble. Um, and we, we don't wanna see that happen. Yeah, I, th this is something I've, my dog Dolly Potton, I, I've taken her everywhere with me since I've got her. And now, uh, obviously I can't take her in the car with me anymore. It's just too hot. So I've started to have to leave her behind, which is now we need to address separation anxiety, which is another interview we're going to have to do with you because I really think this is going to be the biggest struggle for people who, who adopted a pandemic pet is separation uh, when life returns to normal. So yeah. we will have you back, but thank you so much for joining me today. I think your platform is incredible. Just love this idea. If uh, people want to find out more about you, where can they go? So it's super easy, vetster, B-E-T-S-T-R.com. And uh, the platform is really user-friendly. You can search by uh, veterinarian name. If you have a veterinarian to see if they're on our platform, you can search by your locale um, and the date and time that you're looking to meet with a veterinarian. Uh, and it's super user friendly. Uh, so we'd love to see you there. Come on, check us out and uh, create a platform or create a profile on our platform, become part of our network. And we share lots of great information, just like this interview. Um, and we you know, I, I think you'll find it really pleasantly, surprisingly easy. All right. Amazing. Sarah, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you.